And also here at home, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is searching for three gunmen who opened fire inside a Northside Cafe where a child and adults were eating breakfast this morning. You're looking at the scene at King's Cafe Bunker uh, at Bunker Hill Boulevard. We were told an employee was shot on your sides. Nick Perot joins us live from that cafe. And Nick, I understand you can see bullet holes in the walls. Well, Jeff, that's right. Actually, here from the outside, you've got one, two, three, four, five bullet holes. And through those holes, you actually can see one that goes through the wall there at the counter. Now, we can tell you here that, again, while this was during breakfast time, we're told from Jacksonville Sheriff's Office there was one adult in there as well as that child. Now, again, where we're standing, the good news, though, here is that surveillance video down that way right there possibly could have caught video of these three men, and it's been turned over to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. This afternoon, this small stretch of Bunker Hill Boulevard was busy. Fortunately, that was not the case this morning when multiple shots were fired into the King's Cafe. And they got into a black, possibly a Chevy Impala or a Chrysler 200. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office say teens may have been responsible, as all three men they're looking for are believed to be between 15 and 20 years old. Police don't know what led them to fire inside the cafe, but say the trio walked up to the window and shot through, hitting an employee. There is promising news. I'm told nearby employees at the Safeco Discount Food have turned surveillance video over to police. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact Crime Stoppers. Here live again, we're talking about a black Chevy Impala, possibly, or as well as, as another dark vehicle. Again, black Chevy Impala or Chrysler 200. So Chevy Impala or Chrysler 200 leaving the area. Of course, if you have any information, you're encouraged to reach out to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. We're on the north side. Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.